You're a falling star. You're the getaway car. You're the line in the sand when I go too far. You're the swimming pool on an August day, and you're the perfect thing to say. You can't handle the truth. Jack Nicholson shouts at Tom Cruise in the movie A Few Good Men. And, speaking in general, Jack is right. We humans have a hard time in deliberately handling the truth. And, probably an even greater challenge in our everyday life, is dealing with the facts that lead to the truth. The reason for this human shortcoming must be simple and obvious. Our memory was never meant to remember historical details on a conscious level. And indeed, our brain uses our yesterday's observations and emotions, above all, to make personal predictions that help us to survive in actual acute situations, about 60,000 times per minute. Watch the video predicting the game on this topic. In the Netherlands, up until the 20th century, Bible and Saw taught us to make a sharp and absolute distinction between truth and fantasy, between facts and fiction. Only towards the end of the century, we more and more appreciate the riches and importance of a better truth. In between facts and fiction, faction. But so far, only in literature and other forms of art. Dutch writer Thomas Ross, born in 1944, is a popular specialist in writing faction. Based on thorough investigation of isolated facts, his mostly fictional characters connect shady dots within the historical episodes and events that determined the political development of our country in recent years. Critics denounce the habit of Thomas Ross to mix facts and fiction to an inextricable tangle at the expense of the old-fashioned truth as we know it. But it is precisely this tangle of facts and fiction, tension, fear, pain and grief, that brings us the better truth. Closer to an emotional, physical and psychological memory of our occupation by Germany during World War II, the loss of our political influence in our former colonies, or, for example, the shocking terrorist attacks on our mild-mannered democracy. Because better than just describing plain facts, writing and presenting faction with its by emotion steered handling of facts might just be the better way to handle truth in our more and more complex society. So Jack Nicholson can finally stop shouting. Dutch crime writer Thomas Ross celebrates his 74th birthday on September 16, 2018. And you play-